the Honourable Member for Dartmouth South. Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Minister of Education and Early Childhood Development. When this government was rushing forward with the elimination of democratically elected school boards, they told parents to trust them, that they were fixing the administrative structure. Well, Mr. Speaker, that new administrative structure left hundreds of families scrambling to figure out how students were getting to the first day of school. Melissa Boudreau had one child whose bus to school was half an hour late, while her other child was left stranded without a bus to bring him home at all. Mr. Speaker, I know that the minister has announced a review of busing, but will he take responsibility for this complete failure to keep students safe by providing parents with clear, reliable, timely information about bus routes and schedules? The Honourable Minister of Education. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I mean, just to be clear, we know that these logistical challenges around busing are longstanding. Uh, these are not new challenges that have been brought about by governance changes to the system. Uh, however, now that we have changed the governance of the system, the province can play an active role in looking at busing policies from one of the province to the other and ensuring that best practices are applied. And uh, particularly, we're going to be looking at HRM. The Liberal uh, caucus members from HRM have been very uh, um, uh, energetic in their presentation of the concerns in their communities around busing, Mr. Speaker, and we're going to be uh, very focused on finding solutions to those parents who dealt with uh, worry and concern over the location of their students because we know that we need to do better. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Dartmouth South. Mr. Speaker, for all the government's fondness about talking about previous governments, the department has had months to fix this problem. Mr. Speaker, without school boards, parents no longer know who to contact when there are problems. The promised Provincial Advisory Council has yet to be appointed, and new plans for enhanced school advisory councils were released last week. Parent Courtney Rubal called Stock Transportation, who told her to call the school. She called the school, who told her to call Stock. Mr. Speaker, it does not instill confidence when something as basic as busing, getting our children to school, seems like more than this department can handle. Mr. Speaker, will the minister today provide parents with a direct line to his office that they can use to get access to accurate busing information? The Honourable Minister of Education. Uh, thank, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Um, Stock Transportation did provide an apology to the public yesterday for these issues that happened. Um, also, the Regional Centre for Education has uh, sent out inf uh, contact information to every parent that will provide them a direct link to a person in their office to answer their operational questions. I do think it's important to note that, um, according to the region, 97% uh, of the, of, of the uh, buses did arrive on time, but of course that's not acceptable for the group of parents that dealt with delays and the, the students that were on buses for longer than there should be. Uh, they should have been, Mr. Speaker, uh, but the fact is we're very focused on finding solutions to this issue, and because of the new governance changes that we made, the province can actually play a role in improving that situation. Thank you.